Mario, you know sometimes I go down the rabbit hole and every once in a while I hitch my wagon to a player and I don't get off the train regardless of how their career goes. Yes. Regardless of how his career goes. Bryce Love, Niall Davis. Remember Niall Davis? A.J. McCarron. A.J. McCarron. That, the, the list goes on. It's not a good list, guys. No, it's not. But it's <laughs> the OGs know. The, the OGs, OGs know. The OGs Tag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bill. I would just handed you a bagel, so it's... Right? This is just butter. Okay. Yep. This one's just butter. You got cream cheese in the bag. What? Yep, they snaked you on that one. Oh, what the f***? You know, at least have the courtesy to say something. <laughs> you know, you just don't do that to somebody. Alright. But, and there's not even, and a lot of times it's running backs, right? I, that's that's my drug of choice, is running backs. You love running backs. I do. But the last couple running backs, I was like, listen, guys, got to take them, got to take them, got to take them. And it was Jonathan Taylor. It was like, best running back I've seen since. Low. David Johnson. I was like, got to take him, got to take him. And I just don't see a scenario where Buffalo doesn't add a running back. Because I think they, either Zach Moss was incredibly banged up, or they are willing to take their lumps there. All right? <laughs> So we've seen recent history, the Bills drafting two running backs, but then filled out that third spot with the guy free agent, cheap, yeah. one year deal. Yeah. They've been doing that for a while now. So you're telling me they're going to switch it up this year? Well, having a new OC? I mean. And they're going to they're going to draft one? I mean, you're bringing in Aaron Cromer, right? As your offensive uh, as your offensive line coach, right? Yeah, if they take one in the Fourth round or later, I'm fine with that. Okay, that's that's typical value, right? I definitely think the Bills are going to draft a running back. I don't think it's going to be late. And here's why: seeing zone concepts is not easy. From he a running back, a yeah, yeah, I said it. I said it. Seeing zone concepts as a running back is not easy, right? It's not. Okay. With you have back. Zach Moss, and you have. Devin Singletary, neither of whom ran zone-based concepts in college. Eric Cromer certainly runs a zone-based defense or zone-based offensive line, right? That is his bread and butter. I want you to imagine, let's go back, let's go back six years. Would you trade Devin Singletary for Tevin Coleman? Just if you took Tevin Coleman and put him in. I'm just asking, if you took Tevin Coleman out of Atlanta and put Devin Singletary in Atlanta, does Devin Singletary turn out to be as effective as Tevin Coleman was? No. If you took Zach Moss and swapped him with Tevin Coleman, is Zach Moss as effective as Tevin Coleman was in that Atlanta system? It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Closer in the body type. Yeah, but you have to be able to catch the ball in that Atlanta offense. Sure do. Aside from the zone concept, which I know you sure do. But, okay, yeah. continue your point. So, I just don't – I think Buffalo knows the running game is a problem. And I also think Buffalo knows that Devin Singletary is a is a good weapon. And uh, he's a good weapon, and you can do that. And that's just the truth, right? You're telling me they're going to invest a high draft pick in a running back when they have other glaring needs – at premium positions, I would, talked about? I would not be shocked if they draft a running back in the second round. I really wouldn't be. Right? I mean, at some point, you have to look at it and say, we like this guy. We like him. We can be better, and we're going to do it. And I, I'm still not convinced Buffalo's not drafting a running back. That position was too lauded all season to not draft a running back. 
new offensive coordinator, new offensive line coach with a new with a new concept, right? A new quarterbacks coach who just came from where? Carolina, right? Who had that freak, Christian McCaffrey. Like, you want to talk about making your life better as an offensive coordinator, make your life easier, yeah. make Josh life's easier, draft him Draft him a dynamic running back because I like Devin Singletary a lot. He is not dynamic, and I think we as Bills fans can all accept the fact that Singletary is a grinder, and we love that. Yeah. He's only got one more year left on his deal. He's only got one more year left on his deal. And Zach Moss, nice. I think, has given some concern over durability and effectiveness, right? And can you be patient there? You can be patient, but it's we're entering year three now for Zach Moss, right? How how much more patient can you really be, right? I mean, b- both of us have the sidebar. Both of us would have been happy trading Epineza and Moss for Taylor. Oh my God! And well, that that's what draft. it was. I know that's what we were in we were, the draft. You, you, would you know your second and third and move up to the, the top of the second round and get Jonathan well, Taylor. Taylor. It was fine. Right. Um, that's an episode for another day. But the point is this. But that that was we made that argument at the draft that that's what you do to move up. Like I know that draft episode was long. No, 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 no. Once you saw the draft pool going the way it was going, the point. <laughs> You said that a week before the draft that you wanted Jonathan Taylor on this team at all costs. Yes, no matter at what. at all costs. Blood in the streets. Didn't care. You had a post-it note, Jonathan Taylor, no matter what. <laughs> because the second pick that year was essentially their first pick, because they traded for Diggs. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, where's he getting Diggs and Taylor? Anyway, uh, okay, so. I have championed the idea of if you think Singletary is your guy because he seemed to come out really good late in the year. You trade Moss, which still has two years left on his deal. That's a tradable contract, rookie deal for a running back who, who could be a, 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 a spell guy, pounder, you know what I mean? Which is fine. Oh, God. Investing a high pick in a running back, and you're switching to a new zone scheme. Yeah. I don't know. So, I think that might be more up Singletary's alley. That could be something that he could learn and develop into. Because he's got one more year left on his deal. You're going to get the best play out of him. So why draft a running back when you're going to get the best play out of the running back you currently have? Um, Zach I'm, Moss could be a guy that Dable takes off of your hands for you if you want. If you need another pick. I don't see I don't see any harm in that of swapping picks with him. Right. Well, um, I think there's, I think there's a mark for Zach Moss. There's a mark for that. I, I think there is. Now, I, I, I tend to disagree with you. I think they're they're going to go on the defensive side of the ball. Because, you think by default, Cromer's going to bring in a guy that knows his offensive line scheme because that's what they do. That's all the offensive linemen do. You and I have mentioned that multiple times. The only reason OG Bobby Johnson came here, and the only reason Feliciano was here because OG Bobby Johnson to like facilitate what he wanted to do. Cromer's here now. Don't don't be surprised if the, the Bills add a guy for like one year, six million on the offensive line. Like, why did they pay that guy this? Because he's gonna right. He's gonna he's facilitate there, it. Yeah, he's there to facilitate that communication. Um, but I think they go corner. I think they they secure up that part because you. We always talk about cycling the positions and getting younger. We never think we were going to talk about it with Trey White <coughs> last year. But that's a premium position that costs a lot of money. Sure. You have yep. to cycle that position. Sure does. Yep, sure does. We know they're not going edge first round. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they're. I think they're, you're right. There's huge needs on this team, right? Mm-hmm. Like guard is still looked at as a need, although Bates played – above replacement level, if you ask me, right? So if you walked into next season with Bates and Butker as your guards, I'd be okay with that because I think Bates is actually a great zone guard because he can move. This is a guy that was, you know, has played tackle for you. So he can move. I think he'd be a great zone guard. Butker, I'm not too sure about, but... Let's see what off of his injury, how it is. Right. I think that, exactly, right? But I think guard is looked at as a position of need, okay? And who's a free agent? Quentin Spain. Xavier Stumafila. Another wrecking ball. Another wrecking ball. Another one of your fans. Hey, no, it was. He was. 
play. Guard is looked at. Corner, I think, has to be looked at because you're not resigning Levi Wallace. Like, you're not going back to the ball there. Levi's, Levi came back, but I, I think I think he's gone. Oh, yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, I think he's gone. I don't, I don't I see a reason for him to come back. If they really wanted him back, they would have given him more than a one-year deal. You know, like it was a bookmark deal. Like here, show everybody that you're as valuable as, as you think you are. Because the, the, obviously free agency, the rest of the teams didn't believe him. Well, the, the price gets ratcheted up if you're a cornerback on a Frazier McDermott defense. Those two guys specialize in cornerback play. Mm-hmm. You can't get it with that. Right. Right. Uh, Which is why we see so many reclamation projects at the cornerback position, Mark. Mm-hmm. That's why. Yeah. So, are we putting this on the books? We officially uh, have our first bet of the year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We go the first two rounds? It's we're, it's an instant push of the Bills trade either of these picks out, right? It's a push. I have two picks. You have two picks. I say that. They take so we're going first two picks off the board. Whatever those are, first two picks off the board. It's a push if they draft a running back and in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's fair. Yeah, let's okay. do it. Let's Comment do it. section. Listen, okay. y'all. What's the bet? Now here's the here's the here's what I think they're gonna take a corner in the first two rounds. Paul thinks they're gonna take a running back in the first two rounds. Obviously, if they go running back, corner, corner back, running back, it's push. If they trade out, it's push. Um, if they don't take either of those positions, we both lose. Mm-hmm. So we'll leave that up to the nation. Love that. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Join the Patreon, monkeys. Start a little different.